Hello friends, in this lecture, I would like to explain another topic that is based on the elevated water tank by using StarPro Connect software. See here, I will give file name as elevated water tank and choose your default location wherever you want to store the file. Type will be analytical, units will be metric and then click create here. So you will get default user interface like this. So in the geometry, go to grids option, select beam grid. So generally it will be in XY plane. So here go to edit option, click XZ plane, which is in 3D plane. Click OK. So here I will create uh, some 3 by 3 meters of water tank, which is in square in shape. If I will go for 4 by 3, you will get rectangular plate. Okay, uh, rectangular tank. So I will go with uh, 3 meters by 3 meters either in x and z direction. So and then to come out of this command click escape and then switch off this grid. So here this will be 3 by 3 meters tank. So here so this is the elevated water tank. If you are creating just underground water tank means so you can just create supports here assign support to these nodes and then create uh, directly. But here we are going to design an elevated water tank. For that columns must be required. For that what we have to do means so in the select go to node cursor select all the nodes and again in the geometry translational repeat command. So I will go with some in the y direction some 6 meters panel. So if you want downward side nodes means you can keep minus 6 and then along with the link steps click OK. So beams also columns also created if you choose link steps option and again so already nodes will be highlighted here and again go to translational repeat command and again in the positive y direction which is 3 meters i already told you we are going to design a 3 meters by 3 meters water tank which is of cuboid okay so see here four nodes will be created top side then select plates which is generate mesh option create mesh so i will create mesh here four nodes will be created selected first in x direction So you can go with quadrilateral meshing, any 5 or 4 divisions which will be suitable. This is 4 meters panel. I will go with 3 divisions in both directions and then click apply. See here how it will be. Then and again in the z direction also you can create the same structure like this which is some 3 by 3 panel. 3 meters, 3 meters, 3 meters, 3 meters, click apply. So again in the x direction and z direction we will make translational repeat to cover either sides. For that geometry in the x direction, first I will go for x direction, default step spacing which is 3 meters without link steps. So I will select a parallel to plates parallel to the wider direction and then click OK here. And again, here to come out of this command, please click escape and then unhighlight this one. And again, geometry translational repeat in the z direction, default strip spacing will be 3 meters. And again, select plates parallel to the xz direction, sorry, yz direction. Sorry, it will be in x, yz, sorry, it will be in x y direction ok click ok so negative 3 which is back side click ok see here it will cover either sides so both uh, columns beams and then water tank will be created so first to go to the supports click create supports select fixed one click add supports and then assign this supports to the bottom nodes which is assigned to the selected nodes then go to the property which is properties so first we have to define the thickness of the plates so for that also so for beams and columns i will go with rectangular one first one for columns i will take some 0 0.4 by some 0 0.3 meters again next one will be some 0 0.3 by 3, 3 meters which is square beam and again thickness of the plates so i will choose minimum 
one cent, uh, 30 centimeters which is one feet 0 0.3 in meters for the plates click ok so i will apply all for this rectangular one i will apply select sorry select parallel to the y direction assigned to the selected beams and again this one parallel to the x direction parallel to the z direction assigned to the selected plates and again this plates select parallel to both x direction and parallel to the xz direction sorry yz direction and assign this thickness see here entire structures will be created go to view and then select 3d rendering view you will see how the beams and plates will be created so here bottom plates is not selected you can create plates and then you can apply that for, for that one also so for that one we will choose and again select geometry generate mesh option create mesh i will select only bottom one correlated machine so number of divisions you can go with any divisions so by default i will select 3 meters only and then click apply and again apply this plates to the plates property to the select plates parallel to the xz direction click assign to the selected plates okay and then in the view 3d rendering view see here your tank will be created so unhighlight only selected portion and then check here escape unhighlight this one and then see in 3d rendering view see here your water tank along with the beams and columns will be created then after the property go to the loads so loading part just to create the self end and then you can go for analysis so okay so go to the load case one which is dead in structure add close and again sorry add dead load case one add close and again in this load case one go to the none so give the name of some plate load or pressure load any load or else you can just go to the self weight of the structure like that also you can complete the analysis part so load case one self weight of the structure add close so you can apply the self weight to the entire structure for beams columns and frames and then for plate load there will be the combination of three different sets i will apply the pressure plate load add so i will go with plate load so pressure will be given one kilo newton with the global z direction click add and again see here one pressure will be added and again pressure 1.5 add and again 2 add see here I will keep this one in 2D view. So this pressure one will be applied only for the top plates. So select plate cursor. So pressure one top plates. Three select in 3D view. Check whether all plates will be created at the selected at the top or not. And then apply this to the selected plates. Okay. Then remaining two. So keep select in 2D view select this one and then select only second middle point select only this plates by selecting the plate cursor and then select the second one assign to the selected plates check whether in 3d all plates are selected or not and again this pressure two so for bottom one generally pressure will be high so plate cursor so this one check whether in 3d view all plates are selected at the bottom or not okay see here this is the different combinations what pressure will be applied then go to the analysis part define command so go to print all click ok close and then run analysis save the structure see here this is your analysis part completed and design part is just very simple So just zero errors and zero warnings then go to the design. so go to the design and again choose concrete structure 
go to IS 456-2000 by default here select the parameter so minimum grade of the concrete will be 20 I will choose 25 characteristic compression and main will be 450 and 500 will be there so I will go with any one so here in the defined parameter I will choose 25 into 1000 kilometer per meter square and again FI main will be I will go with 500 yield 500 into 1000 okay click add and then in the commands we have to go with there will be beams there will be columns and there will be slabs also click all these three and then go to take off add close so first here fc characteristic compression strength for entire structure click assign okay and again fi main will be entire structure click assign click okay and again design beams only for the beams for that select par beams parallel to the x axis beams parallel to the z axis click ok and then design column parallel to the y axis click ok and again design element only for the plates for that select plates either in or else you can select plates cursor select entire plates on the structure select entire plate so and then assign to the selected plates click assign ok so your design also completed and again go to the analysis define commands print all add close and again run analysis save the structure see here if there will be zero errors and zero warnings your analysis and design part will be clearly completed so here zero warnings and zero errors view the output file click done and then see here your concrete design how it will be so for concrete designs also there will be various analysis here including beams columns and other things also already in the previous lectures each and everything i shown very clearly you go and watch how the procedure we can calculate the uh, scales and each and everything so here in the post processing mode you can select the values of results so plate stresses beam stresses reactions and again beam results plate results in the tabular format also very clearly again you can go with the place results like uh, loads and results so here place stress concrete so stress type will be maximum absolute and again you can apply this one so go to animation part check stress contour click ok and you see how the place stresses on the water tank and how the animations will be affected on the water tank this is how the designs of the elevated water tank will be takes place and then Again, go to the analysis mode. If you want, you can check any particular design of the column. You can double click that one and then go to go to the column and check here concrete design of that particular column or else uh, beam of that particular concrete design. See how it will be. So if you want plates, you can select the plates also. You will get each and everything very clearly. Otherwise, go and you view the output file. How the plates will be designed here, you will get clearly. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video, please like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.